YouTube, what's good? Um, I had to just make this video, man. Like, I think I'm gonna upload this tonight too. Like, just to just to make today, just to just to close off my day. I know it's a late upload. I normally don't upload this late. I do try to get my videos up earlier, but um, I just had so much energy uh, today, guys, and um, I needed to get through the day because I had pretty much a long day but not in a bad way. Today was, you know, it, it, you know, each day has its obstacles, but um, today was, uh, you know, every day is a productive day Why when you're on self-improvement monk mode. Um, every day is a new challenge. It, it never stops. Like you, you're, you're pretty much, I don't want to say you're going through hell, but you're pretty much always pushing yourself to the limit each day to better yourself, to become a better version of yourself. So every day the challenges become harder. Every day you're trying to improve yourself a little bit more, each more. And sorry guys, um, this freaking, I need more uh, ortho, orthodontic uh, wax because this, as they call equipment, is tearing, tearing me up, man. Like I have orthodontic wax, but it, Excuse me, it doesn't really like it's not as good as the one actually prescribed from the orthodontist. Like I bought it from CVS and it it's been tearing me up all day, man. So I gotta try to do something about it, you know. So actually I gotta I gotta fix it right now so I can finish it. <laughs> my bad. I'm gonna definitely have to get read up on that before I take my trip because I can't be down there with the CVS brand unfortunately that cvs brand is tearing me up it's, it's just not gonna cut it <laughs> it's not gonna cut it man um but yeah yo god is great uh this monk mode self-improvement just staying focused um i'm so happy and glad that i'm attracting other individuals of positive mindset and positive energy because when you're going through the trials and tribulations of self-improvement and monk mode, you feel like you're on your own. You feel like you're the only one and you actually do have to go through a transitional period. This is when your isolation comes in. You're going to be in a long isolation period like me. I knew I was putting myself down for a year for monk mode self-improvement. So I think it's good for you to give yourself a goal and a target to go for. So, you know, first start off with 90 days. That was my first target and then start, then go to six months. And then once you hit your six month mark, you're you're going to pretty much say, you know, I'm going to try to finish up the year. Um, but, you know, if you already focus for the first six months of the year, I, like I, I said in previous videos, you've already set yourself up for a great amount of success for the rest of the year, pretty much, you know. And uh, I was just thinking today right off the right off the rip, right off the fly. I'm like, yo, my Friday nights like this whole year and it was hard. Like I hit certain urges and sometimes I would have like a little something to drink, like my turn up would either be recording, being in the gym, like tonight, like I did, I, I have, you know, cause I work too. So I'm, I'm working. Then like my Friday night consists of having to get laundry done. Cause I got to have my stuff ready to go to work the next day, uh, recording, making food really for the night, going to bed. My weekends are zooming. Um, and it's just, you know, it's basically growing up. Like I had to grow up because you know, we're, I, I've said it, I think we're just so programmed to want to turn up on the weekends. And when you're on this monk mode self-improvement journey, especially as a man, um, you know, you got to really be real with yourself and, and you know, you have to sacrifice something, you know. So I sac I'm sacrificing leisure pretty much on the weekends and stuff like that. You know, I'm sacrificing going out, turning up. Um, also, too, my vibration is at such a high now. I can't really be around those that are of a low vibration. This is why like, I'd rather just grind and work and then look forward to uh, my vacations because I know on my vacations, I can just let loose. And even on my vacations, I have a very old soul. I'm really chill, laid back on my vac. I told you like my upcoming vacation, I'm actually just looking forward to being at the beach for pretty much the whole time. I will be going to, you know, my favorite amusement park universal so and they have halloween horror nights right now but i'm not sure if i'm gonna attend that event because i i've been you know i've been feeling a little bit of convict not a little bit i've been feeling conviction 
from going to the event because I went last year when I was in a relationship and you, you know there was a lot of spiritual stuff going on with that individual so it's like you know there was a lot of spiritual stuff going on with me I'm not gonna say that individual but there was something that I don't really go to stuff like that but I was kind of I was kind of, I don't want to say pushed into going to that event. You know, I don't really go to the haunted stuff like that, but I went to it because I was, it was my pride and I was trying to prove that I I could go to it with that person, you know, and, and as men, we got to be easy with our pride because our pride can get us messed up. You know what I mean? So that's just me keeping it a buck with y'all. Like, but now this year I, I've, con I'm contemplating on going to the event because you know, I know I can discern, but at the same time, it's like, I don't want to go into an event where it's just, it's dark, you know? Um, I don't want to put myself in that low vibration when I'm already on this life high vibration, but it is one of the most popular events at the amusement park um, every year. So it's like, you know, but uh, that could also be a sheep thing too, you know? Like, I'm going to just keep it a buck. I'm not going to just go because everybody and their mom wants to go to that event, you know? Uh, in Florida, uh, come this time, because it's set off today, come this time, it's Halloween for them until Halloween, you know? And then they'll go into Christmas. New York is more into Christmas. I could tell down south they're more into the Halloween season. They start that pretty early, uh, especially at the parks. But, um, but I mean, we're not going to get into the, you know, holiday type thing and all of that with, you know, people that will discuss it in the, in the monk mode or SR community. I'm not going to get into the, as what they would call the holidays. We know what they call vegan holidays and stuff like that. I'm not getting into that because everybody celebrates different things. Everybody has their own views and what they go through in life, you know, so I'm not going to judge. Um, but as far as going to that event, I'm not 100% sure yet. If I do go, I probably would just in um, I probably would just experience it on my own. I don't think I would record it or vlog it. I would just experience it on my own and 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 go this one time and take it for what it is, and then really decide if I'm gonna make it something that I'm gonna go to in the future. Um, but it does battle with my spirit. So because I do have a little bit of conviction with with that period, it's most likely a no. Um. But we'll see. I'm not going to say it's 100%. Just like I didn't say it was 100% that I wasn't going to smoke on my vacation. But at this point now, I, I've i got such a discipline and I'm so like far within my journey that I refuse to relapse on that on the vacation. Like I don't want to lose my, my life high. I don't want to lose my great sleep, the peace that I've had, the peace that my spirit has been having. Um, my athleticism, the strength, the gains that I've had, I don't want to lose that. So, you know, um, I don't have any desire to want to smoke either. Like that's, it's crazy. Cause six months ago I had a desire to want to smoke and I kept just thinking about it on my vacation cause I was smoking for a long time, you know? So I had a desire to want to smoke when I got to my trip. Now I'm a week away from my trip and I don't have the desire to want to smoke. So it just shows that me still putting in all that work. Um, also now with my ortho too, like I don't want to smoke. Like I want to keep my stuff fresh, you know, like my, I feel like my skin, my vibration, everything is up. The life high is like, I don't want to lose it. The life high, I don't want to lose it, man. I don't want to lose it. So it's like, and I, and I understand that as long as I continue on this course, I will not lose it, you know, um, I will not lose this life high, you know, but I have to continue to stay the course, you know, but, um, it, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm finally, you know, going, going to have some time to myself to just relax and be off of the circuit of life. And, uh, you know, when, when it's time for my trip and, you know, up until then, I'm sure other people experience this before you take a trip, you know, there's a bunch of stuff that you have to normally take care of before, you leave to go on your trip. So, you know, I'm over here. It's outside. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, there's, um, you got to, you know, take care of your personal stuff normally before you take a trip or whatever. So, you know, I'm still on just hustle grind mode, just brain thinking, brainstorming, you know, balancing my finances before I take my trip. 
you know, what finances I, I'm going to have set aside for that. Um, and, you know, setting myself up to be able to just relax and not have to worry about anything when I'm on my trip and um, not have to worry about anything when I get back either. You know, so many times, when you know, when you're growing up, you you'll you know, a lot of people still to this day will take a vacation and then they come back and then they still have to they come back to the same circuit that they left, you know, so they're kind of taking the vacation to escape from the circuit of their life, which you're supposed to do. But you want to set it up so when you get back from your trip, you no longer have to come back to that neg negativity or that bad energy. You want to set it up so, you know, things are taken care of and settled with your mind, body, soul, your life and everything like that. So when you do take the trip and it's the same thing, like, you know, if I wasn't financially fit to take the trip, it, that would also put me in a stress, you know, because I wouldn't really be able to relax on the trip. Um I was also thinking too, just off the fly, like God pulled me out of like, I mean, I was like, thank God I'm not, thank God I got pulled out of the, the bad situation that I was in. I was in a bad situation, like, and where my life is now is like, you know, I don't look back, um, but I'm like, I can't like I'm I'm speechless as to how much I've been able to progress within these last eight months. And I al I always knew the the power of heartbreak and the power of trauma and all of that energy because it's like what else what else can you do as a man? Like when you go through a traumatic experience or a heartbreak, like you 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 have all this pain and all this fuel inside of you that you might as well transmute that alone into becoming the best version of yourself. You know, like it, you really do just have this automatic thing where like success is your best revenge. So you just focus on yourself, but you do also have to realize that you're not doing it for other people. You have to do it for yourself. And yes, you will prove others wrong, but you're not doing it to prove them wrong. You just use the fuel of them not believing in you as additional fuel as them hating on you, talking about you as additional fuel as the person that didn't believe in you. You use that as additional fuel to get yourself to your next target. And this stuff is nothing new under the sun. There's been plenty of self-improvement people, plenty of other guys that are uh, motivational speakers on YouTube that will say the same things that I'm saying. But, you know, this is just from my perspective and my 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 uh, my lens, you know what I mean? But, um, you know, I, I just had all these things on my mind uh, today and I was just thinking like, man, like I but you know what? You always kind of know, too, when something's not right. Like, that's why I said I have to take accountability because I was given plenty of signs when I was in a certain when I was in my situation. I was given plenty of signs spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and I wasn't trusting my gut. I wasn't trusting my spirit. I wasn't trusting my intuition. And um, I was just a slave to my lust. You know, I just was, I, I. it was the fact that I wanted to just have sex on the regular that kept me in that place. So like as men, like it's important that we control our lust. It is extremely important that we control our lust. And honestly, I'm so glad that I'm, I'm making this because it's segueing into every point that I, I had on my mind. Um, you know, I heard another brother mention one of the brothers that I was listening to. He said, you know, we're not, and it's been a few brothers that I've listened to on the righteous path that they said, you know, we've been put on this planet really to reproduce as human beings, but because everything is over sexualized, because things are hyper sexualized, right? Um, and we also have a lot of big egos on men and women's sides and stuff like that. Like, you know, hip hop news came up like last night. I was like hooked on. I don't know why I was hooked on it, but, you know, Future said some bar in his latest song. And, you know, he mentioned his ex fiance. And it's just crazy how us as human beings can get so caught up in what's going on with these celebrities within their relationship stuff. And I, I, there's something about the dynamic between like future, his ex fiance and Russell Westbrook. That is like, 
it's such a weird dynamic as far as it's almost like a perfect set up for, you know, as what guys would say, the red pill and blue pill, like it's a perfect setup. And it's like, you know what? Future might be red pill aware, right? Because he says things and does things that kind of trigger, you know, it triggers people and it triggers really like a low vibration. It's low vibrational. It's toxic for sure. But I got pulled into the rabbit hole last night too because the power of music, the power of influence and um you know, it's crazy cuz he had mentioned Jay-Z in one of the bars too in that song and I was thinking too like okay, so they know what they're doing cuz you know, Jay-Z had mentioned Future uh regarding a bar, you know, when he had said um and I was talking about it at work too when but when he had said in the in the future, you know, they're playing football with your son. Uh, some bars like that. I'm not going to say the exact bars, but um, it just made me realize, like, okay, dang, like, why are we so into that? Like, why are we so hooked on that? You know, like, celebrities have such an influence and music has such a power um, with the, the sounds and the vibrations and the words. And that's why I do understand that as a artist, um, that is something that, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. And um, that's why I said, even with my lyrics, I try to be mindful. But um, at the same time, it's a release and an expression for yourself. And um, music is something I don't think that we really understand. Just like when I when I was smoking a lot, I used to be like, yo, I don't think we understand weed fully. Like, I don't think we really understand it fully because of just the amount of strains, what it does, certain things that it does. Um, but I say all that to say, um, the brothers were saying, you know, we've really been put on this planet to just reproduce. We're really supposed to just be connecting with people. And, um, you know, if you do feel something, because like there are natural, beautiful things of life, like, so like, you know, when you're on this journey, you know, your energy is going to be really high and um, your attraction to a feminine female and her attraction to you is going to be like really strong. So it's like and not even just a feminine female, like, you know, as dudes would say, like the sucker business and all that, like you're going to still be attracted to them, you know, because as men, it's just natural in us to be attracted to things that we like um, in a sexual way. Well, of course, we're going to have lust in a, in a certain form like that. So like when you have lust like that in a certain form, um, you know, you, you, you can, what I did, like, especially today, I just embraced it and, um, just thought of all the things that like, I, I embraced it. And then as soon as I embraced it, um, my mindset changed to appreciating, um, that woman for, just the creature or just the person that she is. And, it, you know, obviously when you're on this journey, you're not going to think of women in a sexual way like that. I do know like before, obviously, like if I was like, you know, releasing my essence all the time, um, I would always think of a female, you know, I would, it, it would be like in a sexual way still, you know, there would still be that back that thing in the back of my mind where I was thinking about sex, you know? So like now I don't think about that. Like now I can just give that, that female eye contact. And you guys have heard these things while being on monk mode, SR type stuff, like the eye contact is crazy. And you can just have an intellectual conversation now without it being awkward or creepy. Um, and you're not trying to, you know, you're not thinking about sex. You're not trying to make that kind of move towards that person. Like you, you're really trying to have a, um, a conversation, you know? So, um, yeah, I embraced it today and I embraced just being in life more today. And each time, each while you grow on this journey, you're gonna, it's gonna be a while to you. Like for me, it took me now up until eight months in to finally now be awoken to appreciating just life for itself, you know? And, and that's a deep thing, I think, and it's crazy because I'm hitting all the points um, that I wanted to hit. You know, we really need to find our purpose. We don't know what our purpose is. 
none of us know what our purpose is. And I remember my mom used to say when I was younger, like, why are we here? Like, why are we here? And um, that is a question. That's, that's, a, that's a question that I think every person has really in their subconscious and their conscious. And I think the only way you can find it is obviously going within and, um, you know, you have to be focused. You need to be focused on really finding it. And, you know, you might have to just go out in nature. You might have to just go out in nature and just think and question all of those things. And that's why I said, you know, when I first started smoking, it's crazy because that's when I feel like my spirituality, I was open to more things when I started to smoke weed. I feel like I feel like it, it made me more conscious. It made me more spiritual. Um, but I can't say that it was the weed that did that. The weed may have, the weed may have not. But I felt like once I start, I felt like once I started smoking, like then I became more spiritual, but like then I also became somewhat addicted to it. And then it, it kind of like altered me, you know, it altered me because then it became just a flesh, a fleshy, uh, just a desire, you know, like it just became something that I wanted to do because it felt good. Um, you know, as soon as I was coming down off the high, I was like, man, I want to get high again. It became a vice for my stress and it may have been making me even more stressed and have more anxiety and all of that. But in a peaceful setting, um, you know, I would enjoy smoking and being just in life, you know, just kind of sitting in life. But now I have that same high without it, um, which is crazy too. But, you know, life is a crazy experience. It's, it's a beautiful experience. I recommend this journey for any guy that, you know, is single and that needs to be focused to get his life together because, it just will allow you to self-improve yourself and heal from so many past traumas, anything that you're dealing with, anything that you're battling with, anything that you feel insecure about or unsure about, it's just going to heal it, kill it. It's going to take it out of your life um, and very fast too, but you do have to put in the work. You do need to be working out and like automatically, you know, it is going to happen. Like the most high is going to talk to you. He's going to give you these messages and these signals and you're just going to be on go. You're just going to be on go. You're just going to be doing what you got to do. Um, uh, you do need to, you know, be educating yourself while you're on this journey, um, connecting the word, you know, um, and um, it, it it's crazy. It's crazy. It's just a crazy journey. Like I said in my past videos, don't expect to be on it and not get attacked and for it to not be tough. That's going to happen. But it's worth it at the end of the day, for sure, because you feel rich within your soul. Like you feel yourself building a, a currency within your spirituality. So you want to stay on this journey, you know? So um, the self-improvement monk mode SR is crazy, man. Um, especially if you're a, a man, like for me, I had just gotten out of a long-term relationship. So it was the it was really the only thing I could do at my age being just turning 30 and being on the path to trying to get my life together and move up to a different level for myself and my life with music, my finances, um, and just uh, as an overall person overall. And, and, and the missing thing that I was missing was my spirituality. Um, that's the growth I was missing. You know, the physical things don't really mean anything. From inside, I needed to grow first before anything out in the physical could really manifest. Because even when I was, up, if I was obtaining any physical things, I still wasn't fulfilled with inside, you know? So, um, but yeah, you know, we've really been put on this planet to connect. And, and today I just was um, embracing life more. Uh, you know, I really just took the time now to be conscious and took in life today and realized, wow, this is an experience like all these human beings. And we're supposed to just be connecting with each other and having love and working together as human beings. And if we all could really be on that same page, we would be a civilization that would be extremely advanced. 
but there are things that are in control. And you know what? It's, I don't want to say there's things that are in control. It's up to us to take control. Like, and it's an overall test, you know? Um, and, and I can get deep. That's a, that could be a whole different video, you know, but, um, you know, we're really just supposed to, I mean, for you as a positive person, if you're just a person in this world, like really like just have love all day. And like, if somebody doesn't treat you well, you can call it out or you can just separate yourself from it. Um, or you can do both, you know, you call it out and then separate yourself from it. Cause you may need to do that. You may need to get something off of your chest. You may need to let that person know how they made you feel. Um, but some people are, you know, some people can be cowards in a certain way or cowardly and not want to give you closure, um, because they want to have the last word or the upper hand. And that's fine. You let those people do their thing. Like, you know, let, let, let God handle that. You don't even need to deal with that. Like, just take all that energy, all that fuel, put it into yourself, better yourself, self-improve. And, um, you know, just be, just keep becoming the best version of yourself, you know, but yeah, we've been put on this planet to really connect and love one another. And, um, the moment we can all focus on that and get our minds off of things that don't really matter, um, it'll be interesting to see a shift It really, just I I don't know how other places are. This is why I need to travel. This is why I need to see because when I bump into clients from all over the world and their energy is not like it is in America. So maybe I you know, as they call this Babylon, maybe the, the frequency in Babylon out of all places really needs to be raised, you know? Cause I don't know how other places are because it seems like a lot of other people from different countries and places, they don't have they're not dealing with as low of a frequency as we are here in America, you know, um, especially us being African American out here. Um, we deal with a low frequency. We might be born into that low frequency, honestly, that not maybe from slavery. I mean, I'm not even going to get deep with it, man. <laughs> I ain't going to get deep with it, man. But yeah, man, I had all this energy, all these things. Like I said, yo guys, this, this journey, like you gotta get on it. Like it's going to improve your intelligence. It's going to have you sharp. Um, like, you know, I can't go back in the past, but every brother that I hear talk about this says they wish they knew about it a long time ago. And it's a fact because if I would have been Zooming, I would have been, I feel like I would have been like school would have been easy for me, you know, but you can't uh, rewind. You can't bring back the past. You know, I'm supposed to be on this path at this time and making these videos. I would have never been at this point. I would have never even made the music that I'm making. I would never have interacted or connected and went through the experiences that I went through. It's like everything that you go through is, is in perfect, like it's in like a perfect, like your story is still on perfect time and no matter what decision really you make, cause that's just how the most high works really, unless you keep ignoring it, then you will be, you know, you will be handed over possibly to a reprobated mind and, um, you, you just, you might, you're going to have a conscious that something's not right, but it's up to you to get yourself out of it, you know? And that's, you know, where they say faith without work is dead, you know? So, um, this, it may not be applied to that exactly, but you know, you guys know what I mean. Like you, it's up to you to want to change your life, you know? So, um, yeah, you know, I just wanted to make this video. It's a little bit longer than my other ones, but I also want to try to get up tomorrow and make something. If it's not as long of a video, I still want to get up and just be consistent with growing this channel um, and getting content out and just vlogging and expressing how I feel. Um, you know, I know I'm probably one of the, the only artists to really get real like this. I have, I've seen other artists that are on this, this journey too be just as real and transparent. So I don't want to say I'm the only one, but I, I don't think there's many of us that will just flat out be this way. I feel like a lot of people, you don't really see who they are behind the music. So I, I'm happy that I can let you guys hear me of how I really am. And then when I drop, when we drop that heat, we drop that heat too. <laughs> God is great, man. You know, so uh, I appreciate everybody supporting the channel. If you haven't, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to be on this later. We got to just work together. Spread love, positivity, keep working together, um, keep our mind off of negative things, uh, things that, you know, aren't good for us. Uh, too much of anything is a bad thing. Um, like I said, uh, listen, I think, you know, 
like <laughs> I was thinking about it today. I gotta say this before I get off. Like the the um the beauty of how we are like with men and women and just human beings in general is a really beautiful thing. Like life is a really beautiful thing to experience, but like the spirit of lust can be detrimental. So we have to discern if it's a good spirit or if it's a bad spirit. And that's important. You have to be able to discern energies if they're good or if they're bad. And if it's bad, then it's always going to be bad. Because, you know, a good tree can't bear bad fruit and a bad fruit, a bad tree can't bear good fruit. So we have to be able to discern if it's good or bad. If it's bad, it's just going to make your vibration low. But if it's good, that vibration is going to continue to be high. So that's where it, it is a crazy thing that we have to be mindful of. You feel me? So just wanted to say that. If you haven't, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to be on this later, all right? Peace. Love y'all.